the timing hypothesis. That's a theory that women taking hormone replacement therapy earlier in menopause, that is closer to when menopause starts, are at less risk, especially when it comes to heart disease than women starting hormones later in menopause would be. I'm Steve Goldring from simplehormones.com. I help patients and healthcare practitioners with easy to understand patient education resources. Most of those resources are about hormones and hormone optimization. A randomized clinical trial is considered the gold standard of medical studies. This randomized trial called the Early versus Late Intervention Trial with Estradiol or ELITE. It took a close look at the timing hypothesis. The ELITE trial was completed in 2016. It looked at 643 healthy postmenopausal women that were divided into two groups. The first group was called early postmenopause. They had been in menopause for less than six years. And then the second group was called late postmenopause. They were 10 or more years past menopause. And these two groups of women were given one of two treatments. The first treatment was oral estradiol tablets plus a vaginal progesterone gel, and the progesterone gel was given once a day for 10 days out of a 30-day cycle. The second group was given oral placebo tablets that looked like the estradiol plus a placebo vaginal gel. The progesterone vaginal gel was given only to women who had a uterus, or in other words, who hadn't had a hysterectomy. The study followed these women for about five years. The main outcome, what the researchers were actually measuring, was called CIMT. CIMT stands for carotid intima media thickness. There are two carotid arteries that run alongside each side of your neck. The inside of each carotid artery is measured using an ultrasound that's placed on your neck and kind of manipulated to see how thick or how, how wide open that, that artery is. CIMT is a pretty good surrogate for heart blockage. That just means that you can easily measure the blockages that might show up somewhere in the carotid artery on one side or the other. If you have blocked or even partially blocked carotid arteries, then it's possible that you might also have some heart blockages as well. As you might kind of expect, it's a little harder to actually measure the blocked arteries that are inside the heart, which is in the middle of your chest, where a heart attack is really going to start. So this is a, a, an easier place to get to, to measure. The elite study results showed that estradiol, given within six years of menopause, slowed the progression of clogged carotid arteries, when compared to women who started estradiol 10 or more years past menopause. The study also separated women who were taking statins. That's a drug that's used to lower your cholesterol. So the study separated women taking statins from women not taking statins. And the CIMT difference wasn't as dramatic in those patients, but there was still a significant improvement in patients who were taking estradiol closer to menopause. The study also included something called a coronary artery calcium score. That's another way to sort of estimate heart risk using a CT scan of the heart and checking for calcium deposits inside heart arteries. Well, the study results didn't show any significant differences in the two groups based on coronary artery calcium scores. They, they did find them in the CIMT. In addition to CIMT, the ELITE trial measured a bunch of biomarkers in those participants. I found it kind of interesting that several of those biomarkers improved in patients taking estradiol in the trial. That was true for both the early postmenopausal patients and the late postmenopausal patients. They all saw improvements in their biomarkers. The most dramatic examples of those biomarkers include LDL cholesterol. Now, I'm not going to call it bad cholesterol, but that's another video. LDL cholesterol actually went down significantly in patients taking estradiol. HDL cholesterol went up significantly, which may be a good sign for heart risk. Hemoglobin A1c, that's a long-term, like a three-month measure of blood glucose, A1c went down significantly in women taking estradiol in the elite trial. 
All these biomarkers indicate that estradiol may help reduce heart risks and the risks for insulin resistance and diabetes in women in menopause. Of course, estradiol blood levels were more than three times higher in women actually taking estradiol, duh, than women taking placebo tablets. The ELITE study was relatively small It's a little hard to draw firm conclusions about breast cancer risk from such a small study, especially one that only lasted about five years. The rate of breast cancer was about the same for patients taking estradiol and placebo. There wasn't a significant difference between those two groups. Some studies are designed to be big enough to look for what we call hard outcomes. That means in a a cardiovascular study looking at deaths from heart attack at non-fatal heart attacks or non-fatal strokes. Those are called hard outcomes rather than just biomarkers. There were a few patients who had heart attacks or mild strokes and blood clots during the elite trial, but the numbers were really too small to draw any real conclusions on those hard outcomes. In a smaller study like this, the CIMT is the surrogate marker that really makes the headlines and the main takeaway from the study. The bottom line is that oral estradiol, when it's given within six years of the start of menopause, seems to slow down CIMT progression, which may hint at cardiovascular risk. Oral estradiol given 10 or more years past menopause doesn't seem to be as able to reduce CIMT progression. This study is one of many that makes the case that women in menopause get a benefit from oral estradiol especially when it's given early in menopause. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't take estradiol later in menopause, but the benefits for heart risk may not be quite as dramatic when you take it later in menopause. If this video has been helpful at all, click the like and subscribe buttons and ding the little bell to make sure you get notified anytime I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to talking to you again soon.